All right, so getting into Chapter 11 now, the first uh, thing we're going to talk about in Chapter 11 is corporate mergers. Corporate mergers. So Chapter 11 is all about monopoly and antitrust policy. Uh, there's a fair amount of just definitional kind of stuff, so we will um, kind of skim through it best we can and hopefully get to Chapter 12 uh, today in class. So uh, when we talk about mergers, there's a couple of uh, definitions, right? So a merger is when two formerly separate companies combine to become a single firm. Sometimes mergers happen where these two companies come together. Other times one company eats the other company. That's called an acquisition. This is when one firm purchases another. Now, with regards to these mergers, we have certain rules for them. And so uh, we call these regulations. So at the end of the day, we as economists and as consumers, we like competition, right? Competition keeps quality up, it keeps prices down. And so as a result, anytime there's merger or acquisition M&A behavior, uh, we tend to be a little bit uh, sus about it, right? And so one of them, so part of that, part of the reason or part of the outcome of such suspicions of mergers and acquisitions and the impact on uh, the quality of the products and the variety of the products and the, the price of the product, so on and so forth, right? We created antitrust laws. So these are laws that give the government the power to block certain mergers And even, in some cases, to break up large firms into smaller firms. There's a few uh, historical antitrust laws that you you should know that they're at least antitrust laws but also the book does go into them a little bit of detail so we got the sherman antitrust act the clayton antitrust act and the third one not as commonly known the seller <laughs> Kefauver Act. So this would be, you know, research on your own. Just Wikipedia would probably be sufficient, right? So there's two ways for the different regulations on approving uh, mergers. There's the old way and the new way. So we're still gonna talk about the old way, but then we'll also discuss the new way as well. So let's first talk about the old way of measuring the degree of monopoly power. I know my capitalization is all over the place there. Just, just deal with it. Old way. All right. So regulators obviously want to know the degree of monopoly power so that they can 
figure out whether or not they should approve said mer merger. And the old way that they would do it is they would use a concentration ratio that is always four firms, so you can kind of have that in, in parentheses uh, preceding it. But at the end of the day, when people talk about concentration ratio, there's always this implied assumption that it's going to be a four firm concentration ratio. Mm, it's the same. Is this a drill or not? I don't know. Let's do it. <laughs> 